SKF Boilers and Dryers Private Limited Located in Karnataka, India The company adding technology and customized solutions to the process of power boiling for healthier rices SKF ensures in-depth process engineering knowledge quality raw materials timely execution hygienic process methods higher yield with least broken percent 24 bar 7 service across the world various power boiling processes carried out by SKF plants include raw, steamed, half boiled, boiled and cellar Power boiling. Stage 1 pre steaming. Stage 2 soaking. Stage 3 final steaming. Drying and tempering. The operation of power boiling process starts with raw paddy being fed to pre cleaner through elevator to remove all impurities. Pre-cleaned raw paddy is transferred to the storage bin made of stainless steel through an elevator which contains stainless steel buckets, belt and chain conveyor with slide gates. All the belt HRT food grade belts. Cleaned raw paddy is discharged through chain conveyor to storage bin. Storage bin is made of stainless steel or mild steel depending on requirement. Raw paddy will be discharged by slide gate from the chain conveyor. It fills the storage bin up to desired level. Stage 1 Pre-Steaming Raw paddy discharged from storage bin to pre-steaming tank. After filling of raw paddy to the pre-steaming tank, it will take 3 to 5 minutes for steaming at 4 kg per centimeter square pressure each tank. At this condition, the paddy temperature will be 90 to 110 degrees Celsius degrees. The same process can be operated but fully automated by using pneumatic gates. Uses of pre-steaming Fills the cracks and fissures in paddy Increase the porosity of paddy Increase the moisture content, reduce hydration time, aging of the paddy. Stage 2 Soaking The steamed paddy is then discharged to the soaking tank which is made up of stainless steel. The soaking tank will be filled with water till the desired level. Duration of soaking is 8 hours. The water temperature will depend upon the type of power boiling range from 65 to 80 degrees Celsius. At desired level, the soaking tank is filled with steamed paddy. Water at atmospheric condition is fed. The water is circulated till the water temperature reaches 65 degrees Celsius. The water temperature is maintained at 65 to 80 degrees Celsius, constant through PLC. When the process of soaking is completed, the water is drained out fully. Benefits of soaking The color of paddy changes into golden yellow. Gelatinization of the paddy Grains wells Nutrients diffusion takes place where the oil from the rice is transferred to the husk and the nutrients from the husk is diffused into the rice bran. Increases moisture content. Controls broken percentage. The desired color of the rice is determined during the soaking process. After one hour of draining the water, the fully soaked paddy is transferred to the online cooker for final steaming.
The soaked paddy is discharged to final steaming tank or PLC controlled automated online cooker made of stainless steel through the belt conveyor depending on the process requirement. Soaked paddy discharged to online cooker storage bin. Online cooker contains pressure reducing station called PRS where steam pressure reduced from 5 kg per cm square to 0.8 to 2.5 kg per cm square depending on process requirement. Steam will pass through the soaked paddy in online cooker through perforated pipe system and condensed water will be discharged. Steamed paddy temperature is monitored and controlled automatically by means of PLC with temperature sensors. Online cooker highly suitable for steam, boiled as well as half boiled paddy. Online cooking is a continuous process of final steaming. Process parameters online cooker, uniform steaming color and quality, pressure controlled with PRS for constant steam and temperature fully automatic without manual intervention. Increase productivity. This innovative online cooking system by SKF can be installed in existing par boiling plant. Drying. The final steamed paddy discharged to LSU dryer to feeding elevator. When the dryer is filled up with paddy, hot air is passed through and paddy gets dried up through repeated circulation. Initial moisture before entering dryer is 32 to 36%. The centrifugal blower installed at the foot of the dryer pumps in cold air which is converted to hot air and pushed into the dryer hot air. In this stage, 120 degrees Celsius, hot air is passed through the dryer at the initial stages. When the moisture content of the paddy is reduced to 18%, the hot air temperature can be reduced at 80 to 90 degrees Celsius temperature. When the paddy moisture content is reduced to 14%, the hot air temperature can be reduced to 70 to 80 degrees Celsius till it reaches 12.5% moisture. Benefits of dryer. Energy efficient VFD controlled router ensures the movement of the paddy at desired speed. Specially designed V baffle zone ensures the movement and mixing of paddy. Uniform dry. Specially designed SKF LSU dryer ensures least broken percentage and high nutrient value. Less manpower involvement. From the dryer, the final dried paddy is rested in the grain tempering bin before being milled. Single customized paddy processing plant manufacturing by SKF can be used to process any paddy in the world. SKF, any place, any paddy, any process.